uh, brethren, um, it, it's another occasion that we are here and to worship the Lord in the power of his resurrection. And as David said, I was happy when he said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Uh, and he was very happy. Uh, I was happy when you said unto me, let's go into the house. And that's where we are right now. And we are going to start with a word of prayer. And uh, just close your eyes and we pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are so grateful unto thee, dear Lord. As we come before thee, Lord Jesus, we do recognize there are so many things that you have done, Lord Jesus, that are not right, Heavenly Father, in, in your eyes, dear Lord. Heavenly Father, we beseech thee by the, by the, by by your own mercy and compassion, Lord Jesus Christ, that you may forgive us of all our sins, all our trespasses, all our shortcomings, anything, Lord Jesus Christ, that you have done that's not right, dear Lord, King of glory. We pray, may you wash us, Lord. May you forgive us, dear Lord. May you sanctify us. May you make us precious and holy in our presence, Father. Thank you, King of glory, for your goodness and mercy. Thank you, Lord, even as we start this online fellowship that you gave us, Heavenly Father. We pray that you may help us, dear Lord. Be with us from the very beginning up to the end, dear Lord. For it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. So uh, here we are. Um, um, oh, I can see Pastor Joyce. Pastor Joyce is, is, is already here. Um, Joyce, are you ready? Okay, looks like if she's not ready, then I'll, I'll just go on. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just go on, uh, and we will go straight to. Um, so my name is uh, my name is Peter Ndegwa, and I worship uh, I worship with the Believers Ministries International, uh, right here in Portland, Oregon, and the the address is five four four one Southeast Belmont Street, uh, Portland, Oregon nine seven two one five. And if you happen to be here in Portland, Oregon, or the adjoining cities, you can always come and we worship together uh just here in portland we do start at uh, 1 30 uh 1 30 p.m going all the way up to up to 5 p.m that's uh, our service now for today um we're gonna be the moderator and we're working on uh, beaumont Bo beaumont uh, global ministries uh that's where we are moderating from um and uh, then uh, we shall do we shall hear the word of god let us go to Genesis chapter 11, Genesis chapter 13 and verse 11. Genesis chapter 13, verse 11. Are you there? It's just one verse. Just one verse, and we shall read it. Then Lord, then Lord caused him all the plain of Jordan, and Lord journeyed east, and they separated themselves one from the other that is from abraham lord and abraham separated okay then another one we are gonna read is uh, second corinthians 6 and 17. it's just another one verse so that we can move a little faster um that is genesis uh, i mean um, second corinthians 6 17. and it says here Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, say the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. All right? Come out from among them, and be ye separate. So here, you find that God, um, the churches that we are in today, the denominations that we go, are looking for mixers, people who are mixing themselves with the world. They, are, they, are, they want to mix themselves here and there. See, they want to have a little recreation. Yeah, they want to go to the movies, dirty movies, not good ones. See, they want to go to they want to go to golfing. They they do partying, partying, drinking, and all those kind of things of the world. They want to mix themselves with the world such that you you may not be able to tell exactly where this person is where his, his real stand is see but god is not looking for such christians remember what he told the woman at the well he told us god is seeking for such as those to worship him see god is spirit and anyone who worships me must worship me in spirit and in truth and god is seeking 
He is looking, seeking for such as those to worship him. Now here, God is looking for separators, people who separate themselves from the world, the things of the world. If you love the world or the things of the love of the world, the love of God is not even in you. You can deceive him, you can think you are deceiving people, but if you love the world or the things of the world, the, world, the love of God is not even in you. Now, uh, God is looking for separators, uh, like the way they separated Abraham and, and Lot. Those who will separate themselves, he says, come out from among them, my people, that you be not partakers of their sins. If you don't separate them yourself from them, do not yoke yourself. So that's another one. You do not yoke yourself with unbelievers. Yes, you want to draw them to Christ. You want to attract them to Christ by your, the way you live, the way you speak, you are, the, your disposition, the way you carry yourself. There's a way you have, you have become an attraction to them. But they shouldn't be the ones attracting you. See? Don't yoke yourself with unbelievers. Huh? Come out from among them, my people, that you be not partakers of their sins. Because if you don't separate yourself, you, learn, you find yourself going where they are going. You find yourself partaking of what, oh, eating what they're eating. You find yourself drinking what they're drinking, right? Because you cannot be the odd one out. You, you joined them. You yoked yourself with them, right? So now, he says, come out from my people. Now, in Egypt, let's come to Egypt. When the lamb was offered, you see the, the Paschal lamb, and then they put, they put the blood on the lintel of the door, on the doorpost, so the angel of God could see it as he goes to kill the, the firstborns. And he says, when I see that blood, I'll pass over. I'll pass over you. When I see the blood, I'll pass over you. Right? And you know that now the, it's not the real lint of blood. It's the spirit that is in that, is, it's in that, in that blood. All right? When I see the spirit, I'll pass over you. Because you know that in the blood is where we have the life. And the life of God is the spirit of God. Now, it, when the lamb was offered, God made a difference. He separated the Israelites from the Egyptians. He separated Israelites from Egyptians, he made a difference in them. See, even when they tried to counterfeit, they tried to follow them, even in, even in the Red Sea. See, one one group went went across; the other one was submerged in in, in in the ocean. He made a difference. He separated them. God's people is a separate people. God's people is a separate people. See, it's a holy nation. You are a holy nation, a peculiar people. See, a chosen generation. A royal priesthood, see, see, odd people who are odd, strange acting. They act strange when they get a, a little space. They go to pray. Well, others are talking about politics. They're talking about the world. They're talking about things, negative things. Then they just want to be closer and closer to their to their God. They go something that is uh, that is First Peter two nine. See, a royal priesthood. They are a, 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 a chosen generation, strange acting, holy nation, peculiar. Strange. See? The world will never understand you if you are true, genuine Christ, Christian. So just don't think about the world. Think about God. Think about God. And how you are to go. That's the main thing. You think about God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and how you are to get closer and closer to Him, yoked with Him, be in Him, and I in, in me. See? If you abide in me and my word abides in you, He shall ask what you desire. And it shall be granted. See, at that day you will know that I'm in the Father, and the Father is in me, I in you, and you in me. All right? You become one with Christ, identified with Christ Jesus. So there are people looking at you, they see the Lord Jesus Christ walking on two feet all over again. See? You become you become you become so much like him. See. See, they looked at the, uh, at Peter, James, and John, uh, Peter and John after they healed the man at the gate called Beautiful. And they wanted these two are the ones, but they took note because they were ignorant and unlearned. But they took note that they were with Jesus. Why? Because they were speaking like him, even walking. They were walking like him. See, when they opened their mouths to speak, they were preaching like him. <laughs> right? So I may go on and on and on, and I don't want to do that. So let's be separate ourselves from 
Don't yoke yourself with the things of the world, the unbelievers and all that. That's the message for today. Let us cross our eyes and pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we are so grateful, Heavenly Father, for the little message that you've given us. Dear Lord, we pray that you will go a long way in helping somebody out there, or even the ones who are here present with us, Heavenly Father, that we should not be mixed us, but you are looking for separators, people who separate themselves from the world. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your goodness and mercy, dear Lord. Thank you, Jehovah God. We praise you, we honor you, for it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Um, now, the one that will follow is the, the teaching about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And yes. it was. Uh, he's not here. Oh, he's not here. Mateo is not here. He's not here yet. Okay, go on. Continue, Pastor Peter. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I think I, I don't even know where it is, but I, I I'll just say it for. for my, uh, somewhere, somewhere, I think it's in, in Matthew. It says very clearly. It says very clearly uh, that come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Now he's talking about rest. This is not the rest. That, remember, he, he worked for six days. And as we know, one day is a thousand days in God's mathematics. See, oh, uh, a, thousand, a, a thousand days, a thousand days is one day. <laughs> okay. So when you say that he worked for six days in creating this earth, you know very well that those are, those are six thousand days. All right. But after that, he rested. He, he went to, and we are not told that on the seventh day he started working again. No, he rested completely. He didn't create anymore. anymore. He didn't create after the sixth day. He didn't create anything else after that. Now he says here, you come unto me, you who is a sinner, you mix yourself with sin. You, you, you are a sinner. You, you, you are in the mark of man. Of sin. You have been wading in sin. You've been going to discourse. You've been drinking. You've been fornicating. You've been doing all sorts of things. All right? He's saying, come. Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. Yeah? You have the bags. You are, you are laden. The, the weight is so heavy on you of sin. Come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden. And I shall give you what? Rest. Now we wonder, what kind of rest is he talking about? This is a different kind of rest. It's not the rest that you that you take when you when you're so tired. Yeah, it is in it's in Matthew Matthew eleven twenty eight. Matthew eleven twenty eight. I don't know whether we should we should read it. Maybe for, just to make sure because I'm um uh, um Matthew eleven twenty eight. Are you there? Just just open your Bible quick. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Yeah, we'll, we'll be quick. We'll be quick. Um, it says here. Yeah. Matthew 11 and 20. Oh, it's here. Come unto me, all ye that, are, that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Right? Rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly, very meek. You know, humbling yourself beyond humbling. I'm meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest upon your souls. For my yoke is easy. Oh my God. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. See, so he's talking about a different kind of rest where we, 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 and that's why we say after you are, you have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, there is another level that you go to. You don't, please, I beg you, don't just stop there. If you are, let me now challenge you, I'm not going to beg you anymore. If you are a true, genuine child of God, predestinated to eternal life, those, you remember he says, those he had foreknown. Somewhere, somewhere, uh, somewhere he says all, uh, all things work together for good to them that love God. See? To them that love God. To them which are called according to his purpose. 
So you see, there is a separate kind. It's a special kind of people. I hope you are one of them. You who's just looking at me there. I hope you are one of them. He says all those because he had foreknown them. He says all those I had foreknown, all those he had foreknown, he did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. And those he predestinated, he did call. Those he called, he did justify. Those he justified, he did glorify. You see, he did glorify them. He did justify them. He predestinated, if you're one of them, then this word is yours. Come unto me, all ye the labor and are heavy laden. Huh? With so, with so much sin, and I shall give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for meek and lowly, and you shall find rest into your souls. You shall get into that rest. You shall get into the rest of Jesus Christ, where he rested. To rest is to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's what he means. You know the Bible is not so plain. It's, it's not it's not like a newspaper that you can you, you you just read you just read how such and such a politician said yesterday how he was heckled how he was doing what that it's not like that it's not that plain that's why it is preached and preached and preached and you cannot exhaust it it's inexhaustible see it's so, so things are hidden so what he means by rest is you need to enter you need to enter into his rest and to enter his rest is to enter the, into the baptism of the Holy Ghost by one spirit. This is second. This is First Corinthians, first uh, twelve and thirteen. By one, how do we enter into Him? By one Spirit, are we all? Uh, are we all? Are we all entered? Uh, by one Spirit, we are all. We are all entered into Christ Jesus. See, we are born in, into Him. See, by one Spirit, are we all entered? Are we all joined into? Are we all? He is. It's right there. So uh, first, uh, first, that is the. Uh, yeah, by if we enter it by one Holy Spirit baptism. That's how we enter into him. That's how we enter into his rest. That's we rest with him. So that the people, the way, the, the way you may understand it the way you want, but that's the way I look at it. That's the way I see it. That's how we enter into his rest. Um, our time is so much, so much spent. So if you are a child of God, you cannot just, after you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ and you say, I gave my life to the Lord Jesus Christ five or 10, 12, uh, 30 years ago. And so what? What about today? Are you, are you, did, are you, I mean, did you give him his life even right now? And then what happened after that? You need another, you need another birth. You must be born again. He didn't say you may, you might, uh, you, he said you must, you must be born again. If you are a child of God, a true, genuine child of God, child of God, will not just stay there. The counterfeit, I mean, the, the others will say, well, I give my life and now you just stay there. And you know what? Narrow is the way, straight is the gate, and narrow is the way that leadeth unto life eternal. Very narrow. You have to almost squeeze yourself in. It's, but why is the gate that goes to, to hell? Right? So it depends on which road you want to pass. If you want the easier, the easier way, the like Lot, Lot looked and, and he saw Sodom, the way it was so green and so nice, he preferred to go there. The easier route, the easier route. If you are that kind of uh, person, uh, I, I don't want to say I'm, <laughs> I'm not the judge, but you know where I'm going with that, All right? So let's not, because uh, our time is so much spent and I have seen um, uh, uh, Salim uh, and he's going to lead us with the, with the Holy Communion. Uh, so let us let us pray. Our most gracious heavenly Father, is another occasion, Lord Jesus Christ. We pray to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You've told your children about the, the importance of the baptism of the Holy Ghost, so that they don't just stay like that, and then they end up in the disappointment. Because they are, we know there'll be disappointments. We know the disappointments are not good to those who are who are drinking and fornicating and doing all kinds of things. Those who will not be just, they know where they are going. They know they are going to the wrong place. But the disappointment will be these people who have been coming to church. Church. they don't miss to come to the church service and then yeah at the end of it all they don't make it and they and they, they are taken to the wrong place lord because they did not receive what you said you said we must be born again we must be be, be baptized with the holy ghost heavenly father grant which have god unto them that realization and the importance and how crucial it is for everyone of those who call themselves christians to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. For that is the only way we become Christians. 
when we get a portion of thee and we know God is spirit and anyone who come who comes to must be must, must, must be must have the spirit of God. God is spirit and anyone who worships him, there's no other way of worshiping you except you be you have the spirit of God. Thank you, Christ Jesus, for your goodness and your mercy, dear Lord. For it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. And if there is anybody here who may want to start the journey and wants to give his life to the Lord Jesus Christ, this is the correct time. Raise your hand and you say after me. Lord Jesus, today I'm making an eternal decision. I'm making a clear-cut decision. I want to leave the things of the world and come to you, dear Lord. You said we should come unto you all, all us who are heavy laden and you will give us rest. Heavenly Father, I'm coming to you now. May you receive me, Lord. May you wash me. May you sanctify me. May you cleanse me, Lord, that I may be holy and acceptable unto thee, dear Lord. And I promise you, Lord, that I will follow you. I will pray you. I'll worship you for the rest of my life. That, Lord Jesus, at the end of it all, Lord, may you give me eternal life and fill me with our spirit, O oh God, that I may be complete. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. So uh, that's the end of the of that session. So we we'll, we will come again to the that is the uh, the holy the holy communion where we partake the Lord's table. And I believe that every one of you you already have uh, I mean a, a little kind a little bread, cookie, a biscuit. Uh, something like that, and some juice. If you don't have juice, you can use water. You know what we're doing. We are partaking the Lord's table. It's a serious, serious matter. Don't take it for granted. Don't take it lightly. Uh, so we have we have Pastor, uh, we have Apostle Salim to lead us in this. Welcome. Uh, thank you so much, my brother, Pastor Vita. Um, I'm sorry I'm, I'm late because I'm coming from a crusade. We were having a crusade at Shanzu, so I went there because our, um, it is one of our churches. Now, I just want to thank God because of this opportunity that God has given me. I'm Apostle Salim from Mombasa, Kenya. I worship with the JPA Church. So if you are in Mombasa, please come to JPA uh, Bamburi. You will find the, us there. We start our service at 10.10. 10. The first service starts from 10 to 10.30, and the main service starts from 10.30 to, to 1. Now we are going to, uh, let us pray before we start our Lord's table. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you because of this opportunity. Lord, I'm not taking it for granted. I know it is you who has directed us, directed your servant, the prophet, so that we may have the Lord's table. I want to pray the Lord as I, you, as I share the word and as we take the lord's table god you're going to have you're going to touch our lives you're going to minister to us you're going to heal us you're going to transform us so the lord as we finish this service we shall give you praise we thank you we bless and honor you in jesus name we pray amen now let us go to the book of john chapter 6 john chapter 6 from verse Verse 33, we shall read verse 33 and uh, we shall go to verse 35. Jesus says, so let me start from 32. Verily, verily, I say to you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven. But my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes, he which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. I am the bread of life. He that comes to me shall never hunger. And he that believes on me shall never thirst. The Bible says that Jesus is the bread of life. And he says, 
whoever will eat of this bread, he or she will not hunger. This is the very bread that we are taking today. That as you take this bread, you shall not hunger for sin, but you shall hunger for righteousness. God wants you to have hunger, but this hunger is so that you may be hungry for God. You may be hungry for the righteousness of God. And that's why Jesus says, I am the bread of life. It is the same Jesus that says that life is in the blood. So as we take the, the bread of, of Jesus, and as we take the, the, the juice that we have now, Jesus says we are doing it in remembrance of him. Jesus himself says he is the bread. And his blood, Jesus says that as we take the blood of Jesus, we are doing it, we are doing this in commemoration. We are remembering the death and the raising of the death of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, Lord, for this hour that you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for this choice. We thank you, Lord, for this bread. We pray the Lord you bless it, even as we take it. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, I just want to believe that as, as you have been hearing the word, and you have prepared your bread, this is the bread that I'm showing you. I have mine here. Now you can take this bread. I've already blessed it. Take it prayerfully. Prepare your juice. Mine is here. Now let us take it prayerfully. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for your blood. Good. I think you got you got lost. We can continue with that prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we are so grateful unto thee at this moment, dear Lord. Thank you for that session, Heavenly Father of the Holy Communion, dear Lord, as we come and partake of your Lord's table. We know it's an ordinance that you've given unto us as a commandment. And Heavenly Father, we, we thank you, Lord, because it started um, on the, on that day, the Passover, Heavenly Father, and the Lord, you gave you gave it, Heavenly Father, before you went to Calvary. King of glory, we thank you, Lord, as we partake of the body and, and your, your body and the blood of Heavenly Father. Ever God, that we may be like you, that we may be as a strong, we may be strong Christians, Heavenly Father. We know you're not looking for weaklings. You're not looking for wishy-washy kind of Christians. You're looking for true, genuine, Born again, spirit filled Christians, those who are soldiers of the Quran, who say, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Heavenly Father, help us to be like that, Lord. You may, you are the potter, we are the clay. May you mold us, Lord. May you mold us and shape us and make us after Thy own will, Heavenly Father, that we may be like you, dear Lord. Dear Lord, we praise you, we honor you. For it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Okay, now it's time for testimonies. Uh, so testimonies, um, and now we have, we should have a lot of testimonies now because I know you're sitting on quite a huge number of them, and um, uh, I don't know who will start us off. And anybody, anybody who is who is ready, you just raise your hand, and then we move on from there. Uh, the goodness of God, the things that the Lord has done for you, however little, uh, however small, 
uh, however much. Some of them he has done a lot, others he has done little. Let's hear it. Just raise your hand and then we continue. Dora, you have something there? Dora from Arizona. Has the Lord done anything for you? I don't know even whether she's there. I'm just seeing the name. Um, oh, we can see Apostle Salim. Welcome. Praise the Lord, brethren. I'm Apostle Salim from Mombasa, Kenya. I uh, just want to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Um, this year, from January 16th, my mom has been having challenges. We yeah. had to carry her to to the when we are taking her to the hospital. We yeah. used to carry her um, so that she may be able to board the tuk tuk, and then take her to 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 Coast General or to the hospital. Now. She used to complain so much and say, now, how, why am I being carried like this? So she was very bitter. She was not feel, feeling well, seeing herself being carried. How, why can't I just walk with my own legs? But as I'm speaking now, she can now lift up her legs. She's getting some support from a stool. She can walk out of the room. She can go to the toilet, she can come out. So she's very happy now. She has a lot of peace. So we thank God because of what the Lord has done to her. Yeah. She's very peaceful. And I'm giving all the glory and honor to God. Thank you so much. Wow. So you, you prayed for her and the Lord, the, Lord, the Lord Jesus intervened in that? Apostle Salim. I think he's gone. He's gone. Oh, he has, he has a challenge with the with the internet there. Was are Salim, you are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm asking you. Did you pray for her and the Lord intervened, yeah. or it just happened yeah. like, just naturally like yeah. that? Yeah. Go ahead. She's now. She can use the foot which was very weak. Yeah. Yeah. She can use that foot now. She's not dragging the foot anymore. Did it happen after prayer or it just happened yeah, naturally? It happened, after prayer. it happened after prayer. Oh, so the Lord did it. Yeah, the Lord did it. Oh, wonderful. Uh, we, then we give all the glory. Or oh, oh, just tell her not to be a complainer. God doesn't like those complainers, those who spend the whole day yeah. complaining. You know, the complainers, yeah, the murmuring, complain murmuring and complaining. He finished them in the wilderness and threw their bodies yeah. in carcasses in the wilderness to be eaten by vultures and those wild animals that's how that's how bad complaining is see and he so the lord has no change remember he is the unchanging god with unchanging ways so we be careful when we complain 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 the whole day you've been complaining complaining at the workplace complaining at home complaining when, you, when you're in the shopping so you, you all that you do is that everything is negative according to you negative negative there's nothing positive about about you. that's not good all right Anyway, thank you so much, uh, Pastor Salim Paul. Thank uh, you too. Thank you. Yeah. Thank uh, in your, oh, we have Oscar. We have Oscar here. Go ahead, Oscar. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Peter. Yeah. Um, today I went to church. Um, the Bible, you know, um, commands that we congregate, and so I was grateful to go to church today. And there's something that I noticed. Um, when when people said hi to me. There was a lot of genuineness and happiness in their face. I, I you know, I, I like observing some things. I pick up some things <laughs> um, that are interesting, and you know, I, I, I'd get hugs, and people smile, and you see there is happiness when they see me, and, and that is something I, I really don't take for granted. I haven't been in that church for long, but I can say that people are genuinely happy to see me, and and pleased when they say hi to me. And something I'm eternally grateful for. It it shows me that you no, know, I'm not I'm not really a bad person. There's some goodness in me that other people um, can can see. And and when we say shalom, you know, it's peace with, with those that um, you know at our level, those who are above us and those who are below us. Um. So that's one thing that I'm grateful for. 
another thing is that um, my, my sense of smell is compromised. Um, but um, right now as we preach, I'm having some, some ice cream. And I thank God for my sense of taste, for, for my sense of uh, eyesight, uh, my sense of hearing and all other senses that I have. It makes me more grateful for having that. Thank you so much. Oh, you, you mean they were affected by, during the bomb blast or something like that? Um, the no, sense my, is all. Yeah. My, my sense of smell, I'm not quite sure what happened or when it happened. I, oh, you I didn't have it. You didn't have it from the very beginning, or is somewhere. I, 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 I can remember smelling as a child, but somewhere along the line, um, I, I don't. I really don't know. I can't tell you. But it makes me appreciate all the other senses that I have, and I have faith that. Um, you know, maybe uh, our faith, I will get it. Yeah, it's, it's going to come back. It's going to be prayed for and, and uh, just believe with all you, with all that's in you and, and it will come back. The Lord Jesus Christ will bring it back. He's so good. He's a nice God and he's so real. He He's so real. And I, I believe he's going to give it back to you. See, that, that that's uh, that's so, so that you have your, your five senses. And not only that, he's going to give you the sixth sense. The sixth the sense is the Holy Ghost. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh he, he's he's so nice. Um I, I don't know. And another thing, the way you're saying that people are, are kind of wanting to be closer to you, you are uh they are they are giving you hugs that are real, they are I mean they are talking to you nicely because there is something you have become an attraction. You have virtue now. You've been you've been you've been feeding because the the feeding of the flock has been going on as the Lord Jesus Christ will do it every day. So you've been there is something you've been receiving, something you've been receiving. See, and now they may not know what it is that they want to be closer to this to this gentleman. They may not know, but you become an attraction. See, and now they're genuine. They want to identify even with you. They see you. You are carrying something. They don't know what it is. All right. So just keep on going. Keep on going. You are headed somewhere, my brother. All right. Okay, okay, we are so grateful to hear that, and we give God all the glory, all the honor unto the Almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, do we have any other, any other testimony from anybody, any brother, any sister? Uh, this is uh, good stuff. Uh, it doesn't matter how little it is. It doesn't matter. Uh, for me, I, 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 uh, the last two days, I, I, had, I had felt so, so tired, so tired. I think I overworked myself at the, at the workplace. I overworked myself. And so I had very little sleep the last two days. Uh, but yesterday, I think I may have slept like a, a, either like a log of wood or, or something. Because now I feel so much refreshed. I feel so, so nice, so good. Like, <laughs> I'm back to my, yeah, you know, he, re he renews. He renews us. He renews our strength. He renews uh, see now our energies. So I, I feel much refreshed. I don't need to undertake the activities of the day. And that is my testimony today. I give him all the glory and all the honor. I'm not sick. I feel good. I feel great. I give him all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, do we have another one? Another one who has got a burning testimony or whatever testimony you have, whatever little the Lord has done for you? Uh, just come up and, and give us something. Joyce, you have something over there, Pastor Joyce? In Nairobi, Kenya? Oh, before before Joyce uh, decides what to do, to, because she may be having so many of them. Let's have Joanne. Joanne Zimunya. Uh, I don't know whether she's there. Aaron. Aaron, tell us something about the Lord Jesus Christ and his goodness. Oh my, my, my. Nobody wants to testify about the goodness of God and the way he has been so kind and so nice and so sweet to you. Uh, he's healed you of uh, I'm the Lord who healeth all your diseases. See, I'm, I'm the Lord who takes care of everything, gives you even a financial breakthrough, gives you spiritual breakthrough, gives you an overflow, gives you your children are good. You know, they're going to school, they're doing everything that right. See, 
have so much you have so much to thank god for uh so whatever whatever it is your home is running fine your marriage is good see your wife your husband things are running good your workplace your job see so so many you can you cannot even count see you cannot you know, remember that song where it says count your blessings one by one <laughs> see you you can't count it's too much you may spend the whole day and you know you're not gonna finish okay? so let's hear just one of them not so not all of them because there will be no time ah uh, if there isn't if nobody has anything to say anything good about the lord jesus christ is doing be careful he doesn't take it back since you won't testify about his goodness, he might come, he might say, okay, I gave you this and you are not say, giving me all the glory. Okay, I'll take it back. And then you'll cry and cry and cry and you can withhold for a long, lengthy period of time. Okay, let me, let me not uh, uh, say that. I think we'll, uh, we'll go to the next session now uh, where we are to call on our prophet to lead us in the, in the prayer. And as we always do, we do humble ourselves fully. To humble yourself completely not partially don't don't be like those denominations i used to go to they would say we 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 just kneel we just kneel with our we, 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 with our hands see we, we don't kneel the actual with the actual kneeling we just kneel in our hands that's just an imagination that we are kneeling we don't want that we want to be real we want to go on our knees we want to take off those shoes take off the heart if you have any see and you go before the Lord to cry unto him and then when he sees that when he sees the genuineness of that of your heart then he brings down the manna he brings down the manna from above oh my he poured manna every day and they got fresh ones fresh see so that's what you want to do so get some place if you are in a place where you can kneel you go and if you are driving it's kind of a tough that one but if you're in a home just get some place where there isn't much disturbance and then we go on our knees and our prophet we are lucky we have a prophet in our midst somebody who talks to god directly and then gives us tells us exactly what the, the lord has said about you see but you will know whether he's happy about you or he's not if it comes as a warning if it comes out whatever it is we will receive it we will receive it if it is a whip sometimes he whips somebody real good see one time we were one uh, uh, i don't want to take so much time one time we, we had a conference and the, the person was um the the, the preacher who was, who was to come arrived and we were so happy but was jumping up and down and all that now we are going to have a very our conference is going to be a success uh and then he turned around he told him do you know what the lord just told me we said we don't know he told me he told me that that, that you you are full of yourself oh my 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 the man was downcast he was sad he was the whole conference he couldn't even lead it was a real whip it it, uh, it was so hurting he was just on his knees sometimes he would even oh my 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 he prayed the entire the, the entire conference so that he's back to to his usual relationship with god he can renew that relationship it was a, a heavy whip see so sometimes it comes as a whip sometimes it comes as a warning and whatever it is we're gonna receive it and then we can reform can reform myself uh, if i'm whipped i will take what it is that i did wrong and then i start the comeback uh wait you don't know if you are if you are hit on you you go to the ground you say you don't remain on the ground you come right up you become resilient you come right up again and you continue worshiping him, all right because he's a good father sometimes he'll do a whip a little whipping we were whipped by our own fathers you forget that see those are these those who are not from this country he, he in this country it's abuse so don't you dare do it you're gonna you're gonna be handcuffed and that's the end of you all right uh so uh if there is no other testimony from anybody then then uh, i have no choice i'm gonna call on uh prophet pauline to lead us in that prayer, uh, prayer session and be in an expectant mood to receive something from god so that you receive something and when you receive it be be thankful unto him all right okay uh let's go to the prophet pauline to lead us in this okay.
Thank you, Pastor Peter, for I uh, thank you for all that you do. We appreciate you very much, and uh, thank you very much, uh, Apostle Salim. I know you are you are very busy, and I know we were trying to reach you. Uh, it was really hard, <laughs> but we thank you so much for for availing yourself. Um, uh, we thank you so much for that. So thank you, my brothers and sisters, wherever you come from, wherever you are joining us from. We don't take any of you for granted. We appreciate you very much. As I always tell you, it's good to humble yourself. I'm always on my knees as I show you. Why am I showing you? Because I am requesting the ones who are able to kneel, to kneel with me, to come and kneel with me. If you can, if even your body uh, can, can allow you to do so. Uh, if you cannot kneel the whole entire se section, whereby we are praying for individuals, then I would uh, recommend the moment you hear your name being mentioned, you can go down on your knees. You can go down on your knees and um, and uh, and join and join that in that prayer in that prayer that you have been prayed for individually. Uh, for we are here to serve our Father. So, uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, I have one announcement to make. Um, as you all know, this is a uh, ministry. Uh, that is that is led by the the power and is led by the the Almighty Father, our Heavenly Father, uh, the Holy Spirit, and uh, we are not we are not the leaders. We are just the vessels that God uses as part of leadership of these ministries. Uh, so all. All ministers who are here, even some of them are in different uh, ministries. Others are in different uh, different denomination. Others are in different organization. Uh, they come together to join, not because not because uh, not because the, the, they are joining is is to uh, uh not their joining is is profitable to them or to to others but it's profitable to the body of christ profitable to the body of christ because we are supposed to come together as unity like this we are supposed to come together as unity wherever we are connected we connect together whether you are whatever denomination you're from whatever religion you're from we come together with uni with the unity believing in one god and that is jesus christ because our heavenly father who is jesus he's the one that also uh is bringing us together he's the leader of this organization so my announcement today it is uh, is that um we do normally have mission trip some of the ministers here they do travel with us uh to the mission trips and uh we are having we just finished one the mission trip um we just finished one i believe this month this month that's when we finished and uh, I really did not want to announce this because, um, oh, I, I did not even want to tell to tell the administrators or even uh, the other ministers that God had already given us the the next the next mission trip, and I did not want to mention it, but I am forced to even say it right now. <laughs> that we are coming up with another mission trip because this is more of uh, God is the one who sent us. It is not us who sent ourselves. Um, 
and god said as if it's for one person among all the people that we are going to minister to god is the one who said us to that one person so because god is the one who knows so we are going to have uh the upcoming mission trip that is going to start in july and my due i had already gotten this um this message uh even before we we started uh before we finished before we finished um i think we were in tanzania uh tanzania we were in uh, when was it it was january we were um we were in tanzania that's when god almighty uh mentioned to me about the next mission trip and i remember i was talking to prophet uh prophet Teresa, uh and uh, she, she asked me about the next the next mission trip and i told her i did not want to tell her what god had told me but she told me she, god had already mentioned to me and i was like i did not want to share it because I, I was already looking at the the you know the, what human being we all do we are, i was looking at things naturally saying now we are barely even making it through by this mission trip because we do not have enough finances as we all you all have come to understand that we went by faith we did not go go to all this mission trip by by our our might of our strength we did not have everything but we made it through we made it through uh and when uh prophet uh prophet teresa when prophet teresa was asking me about the next mission trip which she had already been told by god that i had already been answered god had already told me but i did not want to voice it out because i know the power of my my words and i did not want to say it because i did not want to continue with the mission trip remember i'm a human being too okay i'm a human being too even though we um, even though you see there's this man called uh in the bible called um jonah jonah was used very mightily by god and he was human being too he was sent to go this way he went this way uh and why he did that because he was a human being too as i'm also i am a human being too because i did not want to go on to doing another mission trip and i i i know how much it takes a toll on me spiritually physically emotionally uh, phys uh financially everything is all over the place and i did not want to share it with uh prophet teresa i did not want to share it with with uh the other ministers i did not want to share it uh with the administrators here i did not want to share it with anyone but today i have been <laughs> i've been pushed by god almighty to make it known to everyone and this is when you you disobey god you god will really truly make sure that you say it when you don't want it so we are going to start uh, start preparing for going to this next mission trip in July. It is not by our might, it's not by our strength, it's not by our power, but um, as we go to these mission trips, this even uh, this next mission trip, it will be even bigger than the other one. The first one we went was uh, in Kenya, uh, Uganda and Kenya. The second one, which we just completed, uh, actually the first one was Kenya, uh, was Oregon, it started in Oregon, then went to Uganda, then went to uh, to Kenya and went to, uh, to where? Uh, this, uh, Boston. And then after Boston, we went to Oklahoma City at Macasta. Then we went to uh, Texas. Then after Texas, North Carolina. From North Carolina, we went to Virginia, Virginia to Maryland, then back in Oregon. That was the first mission trip that we did, uh, which mainly was more of in America than in Africa. 
Then this, the second one, which we just completed, was uh, started in Oregon. Then from Oregon went to Uganda. From Uganda went to Kenya. Then Kenya went to uh, um, Arizona. Then from Arizona to Oklahoma City. From Oklahoma City to Iowa. From Iowa to Boston. And uh, all this is for the glory of God. And now the next one, which is coming up, which I'm mentioning it right now to you, that is coming up in July. We are going to go to uh, Texas. From Texas, we are going to go to Oregon. From Oregon to um, uh, to Zambia. Uh, no, Zimbabwe. Then from Zimbabwe to Zambia, from Zib uh, from Zambia to Malawi, from Malawi to Tanzania, from Tanzania to Kenya, from Kenya to Uganda, and then back to United States. So all these, I did not want to mention them. I believe uh, even the other ministers that are gathered here, the ones who we normally travel with, uh, they had been asking me. I, I believe like Salim had been asking me. Can you give us uh, what God had told you, as you had mentioned? And I really did not want to say it. But as I'm saying it now, I'm not saying it comfortably. I'm not saying it because I want to say it. I'm saying it because I'm, 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 <laughs> hey, my father is my father. So I'm not saying it because I want to say it. But now, uh everyone now you've known now we are we have um a journey to take upon ourselves it is not um the journey by my our might is not by our strength or by our power so this is to glorify our heavenly father and as we commit this journey as god has uh literally made me to to uh tell it to each and every one of you uh for the glory of god so as we we prepare to go to to this mission trip to the this dad mission trip uh we ask all our brothers and sisters who normally support these ministries the best way you can uh you can uh i will tell the administrator to kind of wipe out whatever it is that was there in the GoFundMe or either they create another account uh, and all the other contribution were there uh, so that uh, everything can be set um, in uh, as fresh because this is a, a bigger mission trip and it will require a lot of a lot of finances and uh, whoever wants to contribute we are not here to force anyone to contribute it is for god's glory and his work of god where you yourself cannot go for this mission trip where you yourself cannot come and join with us for this mission trip your finances will be the one to escort us and take us to all these places and so you are part of the mission trip as you are you are supporting the mission trip uh for the glory of god so that the word of uh, the work of god can be spread and my you all these countries that we are going they are not it, it, when you hear it me mentioning uh, uh, uh kenya uganda tanzania zambia uh malawi zimbabwe uh you got uh where is it called uh Ta um uh, Texas, Oregon, all these places that I'm mentioning, I'm not mentioning that we are going to just one particular place. No, these places we are go we normally go different areas, different counties in there, and there are ministers who are who are always going with this group and we go preaching the word of god we have seen a lot of miracles and wonders performed and they require a place to stay they require a place uh some of them uh they fast differently because everyone who is with us must fast that's an obligation that they sign up for so some of them they 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 fast one meal others they fast other meals but others they fast the whole entire time so there are different type of 
fasting. So in that way, do I say that? Because there are others, as they are fasting, they eat. They eat at a, at a certain time and they require food. So uh, your finances that you contribute, you don't contribute just only for, uh, for, for the housing, for the hotels, or for the car that is taking us, or for the for the for the fees that are for the border, because uh, going to all these countries from Kenya to Tanzania or all the borders, we have to pay a certain fee, uh, a certain fee for border for the car to to pass through. It's it's a lot of stress uh, on the mission trip. It's not just the uh, it's not just the the food. It's not just the the accommodation it's not just the transportation there's so many tiny tiny things that comes after that that are also even we have you know as you know east africa or africa how it is with somewhat 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 uh, i'm not proud to say this but uh the corruption is a little bit higher than every other place uh you find uh you have to uh to, to to give uh extra to pass through the border to pass through the a certain area because the devil really is working extra hard to kind of really uh not uh for you not to get to where god is sending you but we always see god work in a miraculous way as as we all mentioned to you guys last time we gave you the record of the other mission trip that we were we encountered a lot of challenges a lot of challenges where the devil did not want us to even get to where we were when we were in uh when we had just passed through the border of uganda to kenya our brand new car that was with us that was transporting us that car i believe uh the owner told us that we were the first people to use it and not only that we were the first people to use it it was one month old one month old a brand new car and when it reached us to uh it we went and uh, dropped the other ministers to the accommodation before we went to that uh before we went to the evening to go and preach the word of god there at maraba uh the car the battery died completely and we had to push the car we literally had to push the car and then we had to go uh the driver had to go and buy a brand new battery and the car had a brand new battery already so it, 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 so all these small small expenses that we don't calculate they do happen and uh, uh beside that i remember we pushing the car and it was it we were all laughing about it but we were laughing at the devil to show him that he can try to stop us to to go and spread the word of god but nothing and no one will take that word of god away from us because we will go where god wants us to be and let me tell you my brothers and sisters we did manage to push the car we were able to to drive to the church and then the the driver was able to go and get the battery and come and pick us up after the the service and the next uh breakdown of the car also happened at the border of Tanzania, uh, kenya and tanzania and that the same brand new car broke the uh, broke the um, the the they called it a propeller or something that is that holds on the tires the four tires and not the four rims of the car and it it, it dropped on the floor and uh we were our life one was our lives were in danger because the car started uh, bubble, uh it was not stable and uh we were in the middle of nowhere and when i saw that uh i believe um i left pastor peter and the other men of god in the car and together with the with the with the driver to collect that item so as they can try to fix it and the holy spirit told me just go go ahead of them and for me i followed what god the one who is leading us and the one who has always led us i followed what he told me i left them behind fixing the car and i as the 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 evil spirit did not want us to 
uh, enter in Tanzania. But what did we do? We we stayed planted in in Christ. We pressed on and we pressed on and i went learning as the holy spirit gave me the strength i went learning and as i was i was i was demanding for the in the spirit realm that god almighty to be glorified by breaking all these barriers of the evil spirit that was blocking us from getting in from getting in these territories because these territories some of them are, are protected by witchcraft by by the we by the evil spirit and does not want the spirit of god to penetrate in there and so it was very hard so i had to learn i remember <laughs> uh the the pastor peter and the other uh uh brothers uh, brothers uh they were laughing and they were also afraid of why would you learn uh in the middle of nowhere uh and uh and go ahead why would you go all the way like that and for me i told them i'm being led by the spirit of god because the the door the gate needs to be open and i needed to open the gate in the spirit by the spirit of god and by the spirit of god i uh Salim, mute yourself please thank you uh, by the spirit of god we had to 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 break whatever was blocking us whatever was preventing us from from getting to uh to the border of tanzania because all this happened like uh 10 i, I believe uh the driver told us it was like 10 minutes to the border of uh, tanzania so all these things uh uh in all these things that happened we had to buy the 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 item to repress to repress to repress the 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 thing that fell and it's a brand new item my dear brothers and sisters that's why the bible is true when it says we are we are on a spiritual warfare spiritual warfare is that is not physical you cannot go and see someone like me you come in front of me and start beating me when you come and beat me that is all that you get the thrill of knowing that you have beaten me that's it but when you you go on your knees and you fight if the spirit of god tells you like like it told me the holy spirit told me to go ahead of the other pastors to go breaking all these what was 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 blocking us and claiming the path the path to open in jesus name and it opened it was not something it was not a child pray it was not easy any of us would have died from there so when we say that we are uh, we are going for mission trip we are some of us like me i really i know god is using this ministry to do what is impossible to man but it's is very it's it's not easy and when we ask you all to put us in prayer and to uh to help us financially and all this we are not asking you because uh uh because we want to uh, to 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 ask you to uh th that uh, if you give this god will give you this back no this this is personal choice just like it's personal choice for each and every person who is who goes to the mission trip with us because it's their choice to make because that's when they have decided instead of contributing finances i am going to do what i'm going to join you and i'm going to come with you so that i can spiritually help you fight this uh spiritual warfare it is not a cup of tea it's not a child pray it is it is a place where you can get hurt it is not a, a joke and uh, i know i have taken too much time to explain all these things but uh it is very important for everyone to understand when we talk about mission trip that god normally lead us it is not a cup of tea and that's why it was taking me too long to open my big mouth and say that we are going to another mission trip because i did not want to go that's the honest truth and God knew that I did not want to go. But 
we have to go uh and um we thank god that god always make it possible and as i have mentioned here it is not uh easy but god will make it will help us to make it through because it's not our battle but god requires uh, faithful vessels to use to go to the, these areas and these areas are not easy to go but uh, god is with us god is with us so as let's go boldly to our heavenly father right now and thank him for what he has given us the the information that he has given us right now and the information that he has literally made me tell you all that i did not want to tell you but well the cat is out of the bag as uh as one of the people say i think the english people say the cat is out of the bag now i cannot return back the cat <laughs> so some of you i know you are laughing when i say that so let's not be like jonas let's <laughs> let's not be like jonas you remember jonah uh was sent this way and he went the other way so me i was practicing the jonah style and i i guess the jonah style is no more <laughs> please god have, have mercy on us so everyone if you want to go on your knees kindly now let's start the prayers dear heavenly father we come before you we thank you almighty god for what you have done in our lives so dear father we ask you to please forgive us all our sins which we have done knowingly unknowingly we ask you to forgive us oh my god Forgive me also, Father, for withholding this information that I did not want to share, Father. But, Father, as you have literally forced it out of my mouth, and I have literally have said it, and I've given the information as you gave it to me to give it to your children. So, Father, my God, oh dear Father, let your will be done. Let your will be done. I ask you to forgive all of us each and every one of us who have sinned against you knowingly or unknowingly father we are reketi sika vosho we may have sinned against you with our mind we may have sinned against you with our eyes we may have sinned against you with our mouth we may have sinned against you with any part of our body we ask you to please forgive us oh dear father forgive us oh lord jesus christ forgive us oh mighty god forgive us oh dear father thank you jesus for forgiving us thank you for cursing us with the blood of jesus christ thank you jesus even for finding us faithful dear father thank you even for expanding our territories oh dear father thank you for even giving us even these assignments that you have given us oh dear father for the third mission trip which is double of what we have been doing oh father my god my jesus we as human beings we may look at what we have and we don't have much and you have given us more work to do we don't know father what to do but we we give it back to you jesus and we say father we are willing to do it we are willing to go all these places that you want us to go and do the work your work oh dear father is not by our might not by our strength not by our, our power father but it is your power it is by your strength it is oh dear father you are my regard oh the kita raka tiri shibo rekete vroha seka ha reki vro shite leki karabo shibe rekete leki hada reke vo bataraka seke rebo chula esi kimo roko si karaka tika rashet lazy he cover to super a kitty for ruka chassi he cover to ruku shadale king a revoto who marie case a key barasa for we are just mere men and women or go to sukuri kade but father you have chosen these vessels oh dear father to bring glory and honor back to you jesus to bring glory and honor back to you holy spirit to bring glory and honor back to you my god father you have chosen these vessels oh dear father to bring glory 
glory and honor back to you, Jesus. To bring glory and honor back to you, Holy Spirit. To bring glory and honor back to you, my God. Thank you, Jesus. If you have given all the testimony, all of you, kindly the ones who have given the testimony, uh, lift up your hand on the screen, please. If you have given testimony, give uh, raise your hand on this on the screen, please. So as I don't miss to to pray and commit uh, to pray for you and commit all this to you, Father. Father, I bring all this, oh dear Father, all these children of oh Father that they have broadly come here to brag on your goodness to brag on your goodness they came to brag on you they came to brag on you jesus they came to say father you have come in their life you have visited in their life you have given them the bread of life you have given them the bread of father they are here to recatapoto sukurikati ikaboto each and every one of them father that is apostle salim father pastor peter oh dear father all those who have given their testimony father if you have given testimony kindly lift up your hand because i do not want to miss to mention your name please kindly lift up your hand on the screen on the screen i don't remember who gave testimony uh can uh, Pastor Peter, do you remember the people who gave testimony? Oscar. Oscar, kindly lift up your hand, please. Oscar, if you are near the 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 phone, there is a, a button for lifting your hand. You can lift your hand, please. Father, a key tarase key barashete the key for Lushi boto fobati. He siki da raka tari siki debu sobo tori kabobu shite i kabobu tishi la kase ke leti da raka se ke boru shubete he siki baraboto so kuruku si karashete leki i baraboto so for you to kase ke boru sobo tika lepu Father, you said if someone is ashamed of you, you also you'll be ashamed of them to present them to your father. Father, the same thing. Father, these children who have given their testimony, they are bragging on you, Jesus. They are bragging on you, Jesus. And so, Father, my God, give them their reward, oh dear Father. Oh, Rekedi, Riseke, Botu, Ruku, Soko, Rikada, Eburuba, Da Kese, Kiba, Rabosu, for Pastor Peter, Oscar, Salim, oh dear Father, Ereketa, Raka, Seke, Botu, Ruku, Seki, I speak blessing upon Oscar. Reketa boto ruku shibada kate. E karaka seki buru botu ruku shada rakete. Lebu mana kaseke. O vare boto rukisi. O rakate si karaboto suku revarze. E varabose. E vudu seka. O ah for Apostle Salim. E rekita raka seke rusu kuribata reke sakavo. I kavo butu suku ritare. I sakavo butu rushu bareke ti si karaboto. For Pastor Peter, Eret Sankarate, the Kika Raboto, Ruku Sukuri Bachar, Hasakabo Reseke, Ida Boto Sukuri Kate. Father, thank you, Jesus, thank you, Father. Ika Boto Subare Keti Vurushi, Ika Boboto Sukuri Kate, for Ade Keti Sika Raboto Rokose. Father, I bring all your children, oh dear Father, my Lord Jesus Christ, that is daughter, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ, that is Bishop uh, Bishop Kirago, Joan, uh, Joyce, Mateo, Oscar, Peter, Apostle Salim, Samuel, Sarah, Shiko, all these father are your children, Father. You know them by name, oh dear Father. You know them not only by name, you know them by even creation creating them oh dear father arekete sikira boto sukurushi bataka seki vora dakita isiki vorosho barekete de sike boto in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name father i bring oh dear father my rokote sikira kate resi isa kabobo to so arekete sikara kate se father i bring oh dear father 
Janet and and uh, Janet and Kid, oh dear Father, Janet and Kid, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ, for you know, oh dear Father, Janet and Kid had the case. Kibo roko si karaboto soko rudushi ikarata resi kibo roko shi baraka ere kisa kade poto sukurudusi he sirivu rubate ere kesi ki Janet, press your hands on your on on the upper back the upper back of the upper back as you see me demonstrate here dira kase ke diliki sakavo horikita raka te boto si bareshi isa karaboto roko bareseke i barebo shete leki sakavoto si marakashe isa boto si karaboti si iraboto so korikatare he si ki barebo Press your hands on your belly. Press your hands on your belly. Eti ki si ki ra boto rushiti. He si ki ra kata riketi sakaboto. Hu barreke te se ke rubata ki. He si borro koti barakase ki. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Father, we bring O dear Father Sarah. Era kambo toro koma ni ki si ki barreke. Lift up your hand, Sarah. Era kanda rabo toso koruba titi, isi kivo robo tori, katare se kevo roshi, ika rabo toso kurikate, ika bopo to suma rakate, sika raka shida rasebo, huba rekete, sika rebo to rokose, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Father, we bring Apostle Salim. Apostle Salim, press your hands on top of your chest. Ere kita rase reki bo roko tu ruse kiva. Iba reke te seke vuruba shetere. Ika bobo to ruku sukuri katarishi. Ika bobo to suru sheta raka seke. He varabo chukurubata. He karaka vobo do roko soko reka charaka seke bo robo shika raka saka voma na kese kina kandike. Handare seke monokoso. Ika bobo to roko suba. Hadiriki siki vo ruba chikala. He seke na moto reka te boroko sikrasi iba reboto surukuse iba reboto sokorebata isiki boroku subarekeshi in jesus name in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father, we bring Samuel. We bring Samuel. Rokoto roko sike buturuku se karashi. He siki voroboto sikari. He sakareke ti vurubu shitila. He siki voroboto subarekita. Haraka dereke ti vurubati. He siki voroko shitila ka. Samuel, kindly press your hands on top of your chest. On top of your chest, they say kemo to ruku su, ika bobo toso korikati, ika revo toso kodi kisa karekese. Samuel, press your hands on top of your head. On top of your head, e rekita rakate, he si kivo ruku su bareketi. Isa karebo to roko barrekese, ha boroko so borikashi darakase, ha bubutu rukuse barashi, isi kiva rivo toso kurikatare, isa kavo roko sike boto, in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Father Almighty God, O dear Lord Jesus Christ, we bring we bring uh pastor uh pastor peter oh dear father here kita boto so kuru kushu turikade e karavo to surukuma reshi isi ki barakate si e barabo to so kuri batasi ke voroshete re kita rakate re ki baraka i karaka se vorubo to si i karaka se ke vorubo shita rakase ki voruba rakishete i barebo to so kuri katare ke se kevo Arakate seki. Uh, Pastor, Pastor Peter, press your hands as you see me demonstrate. Uh, if you look at me, you see where I am requesting you to hold your hands on both of your hands to press them uh, on top of your ears as you see me demonstrate. Arakate seki vorubo shuba rakate ilaka seke. Hika votoko sukuri katasi. He varaka tareke se kivoro. He kariba tase ke vorru kuna rakase. He si kivoro botosi. He varakate vorru kusu kurekate. I karevo 
move your hands to the back of your head move your hands to the back of your head the keti kira kase ke isa kavobo to kurukushita rakasi isa kare ke tita raka tere botoso u rakate re kisa kavupu ruku he sa kavo boto rukosi hi karaka tere ke kiboroshi isa kiborikata he se ke voruma rakasi Ivu ruba takalisi kibotu shuboti. Ivu moto suka rakamo tu shetaraka. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we bring Oscar, oh dear Father. Eredere sika raboto roko sika rashita rakante reboto rita kashanta li. Ika raka tebotoro kosuku ribatare. Iva reboto so rikadere. Iva reboto roko sika rakatisi. Iva rese ke moroko turu sumareshati isa ke voroto sokoriki from the top of his head on your father to the bottom of his feet on your father i karate rese ki voroto risha tarisa kada boto rokoso hadareke se ki vorushi putureka hadariki saka revo toru kutubarakase e voroko sukuri batarakasi ke vorushi ira kanse ki marate I devoto sukuri kapata reshi in Jesus name, in Jesus name, in Jesus name. Father, we bring Brother Mateo. He redere tira kase ke boto ruku suba reke. He baraka boto sorry kata reke si. He bari baraka saka revoto roko suba ra. Hase ke boroto koroko boshi teleki. He bara bose ke bari bata kase ke reti si kara kase. He bara boto roko sobo reki si. He saka reke tiri se ka boba dara kase. I kavo boto ruku su kareka ti. Hallelujah, Papa. Is he car a shade the key in Jesus' name? In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Father, we bring Pastor Joyce, oh dear Father. Nicaradese Keboroshite. Thank you, Jesus, and the king of Boto Roco Tor, so Bariki Tila Shida. Heseke Barada Raka Sekebo. Hallelujah, Papa. We give glory and honor back to you, Jesus. We give glory and all about you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and all about you, my God. Keti vo roko sukita rase. E vare boto so kuri katare ke sikaraboshi daraka taboto roko se hare ke enara se kivoroshu barakete ika boto roko sukuri katare se kida vo e si kida rakase ne roko tu sukuri kate e rakandare si karakandare si. Thank you, Father, for releasing them. Thank you, Father, for releasing her. Thank you, Jesus, for propelling her. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Father, we bring Joanne Zimunya. Erekina rakante resika rabuto sukuri kate rekeka. Esikiva raksi. Joanne Zimunya, press your hand. Press your hand on uh, on the back of your head. The back of your head. Arakate resiki boroko sukuri kashete. Araka bubutu botu kurika saka bobote kese. Iva rebochete rekesi kibore shetara. E sakamo turuku si barekete botorikita. Araka tere se kiburuse. Hareiki sike moroko so botika. E baraboto so korikata rekese. Harifu batakatika reko turuku se borushate. Isi ki maraka tere. Ika vopo toro ko suguri katare. Hasa kavo tu subarete. Ika vopo toro ko subarete re. Sika voboru so manike. Isa katere si ki moto so. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Father we give glory and all about you Jesus. We give glory and all about you Holy Spirit. We give glory and all about you my God. Father we give glory and all about you Jesus. Jesus. We give glory and all about you, Spirit. We give glory and all about you, my God. Father, we bring, oh dear Father, Bishop Herod Kerago, oh dear Father. Ika raboto so kori shete. He rabotiva raboso kori bata kashete. Liki ika raboshi. Hasaka vori bata reke sekivo. Hasiki borodoka disevu rubati karabobo tuku sude rakase. 
haza karekete sikibo rubata rakaza iba redese ke motu sukurisha tarise ba hadiri sikibo rokoto rokotu burisa kabo parekete ika bobo rika tareka saka raka boto roko borike tare ese ke na raka te foroko sike ika raka tare se ke motu rusu beta raka bo uvare se kevo le chore se ki barevo tsumare se ke raka se in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name mere ke te resi karabo in jesus name in jesus name father we bring daughter out your father ere ke di risa karabo to se karashi ere ka se kevo roboshi we bring daughter and the family ere de resi karabo to roko se ke rebo ti karase ke ti ilakate hasa kavo roko soboti lakete ika rakate se kevo robosi ise rebo to roko subareke isa kavo roko siborika charete in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name father we bring pamela and preston pamela and preston ereke de rese ki baraka ta rese ki ta rosho botere se kere ki ta ra esa kanga revo torro ko boriki tira hase ke bori bata rese ke motorose araka botoro ko soko buturu ku se barishide in jesus name in jesus name father i bring all your children oh dear father daughter uh bishop harold uh joan pastor joyce brother mateo oscar pamela pastor peter apostle salim samuel sarah janet father all these are your children gathered here in the name of jesus christ father reward them oh dear father go before them in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name in jesus name, in jesus name. father we bring all ministers all over the world whether we know them whether we don't know them father is none of our business to even uh to want to say that we know all these ministers but it's our business to commit them to your mighty hand it is our business to pray for our brothers and sisters who are in the in the work of you oh dear father the work of you oh lord jesus christ father we commit all these brothers and sisters who are all over the world that you have called them oh dear father to preach your word oh dear father my god oh dear father all me ministers of your father all over the world we bring them in your mighty hand we ask you to please oh rekete botorro kosu kurika terevo also even in their family of your father we commit their family of your father to your mighty hand we commit their ministry to your mighty hand we commit whatever it is their hard desires of their work of your father that you've called them to do of your father that of your father anything that they do we bring glory and honor back to jesus he bring glory and honor back to your holy spirit he bring glory and honor back to your mighty god so father we ask you to give them prosperity in whatever they do oh dear father give them divine connection oh dear father give them divine breakthroughs oh dear father give them oh dear father divine peace and love and unity father we bring all those who are sick oh dear father all those who are not feeling well oh dear father all those who are seeking for healing oh dear father all those who are seeking for deliverance oh dear father all those who are seeking oh dear father for miracles and wonders in their life my god oh dear father we call upon you knowing oh dear father only you jesus are the but to rukusurieti inga raboto rikisi ki for roshete ika raboto rukusubreti ina reke na rika saka reke ti borosu handa rigida botu sukuri katare i bare botoro ko sukuri katare i bare se ki bare kisi father my god give them the, the the healing that they require oh dear father healing in jesus name healing in jesus name healing in jesus name deliverance in jesus name deliverance in jesus name deliverance in jesus name miracles and wonders in their life in jesus name miracles and wonders in jesus name miracles and wonders 
in the name of Jesus Christ in their life. Father, thank you, mighty God. We give glory and honor back to you, Jesus. We give glory and honor back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and honor back to you, mighty God. Father, we give glory and honor back to you, Jesus Christ. We give glory and honor back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and honor back to you, mighty God. Father, we thank you. We are the motor of Kusukurichida Rabotori Seki Darakase. He barrebotor Kusukuri Katarisebo. Who barrekete the Kisa Kadide Kita Bochokurichi. Yes, Kiva Reboto Roko Sukurita Rebotika Radarete. Ika Reboto Sukurika Reboto Sokori. Eta Boto Sukurika Reseke Botere Kedari. Kaze Kemoru Sokoro Botesiki. Father Ekesi. Let everyone who is gathered here in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, as they connect with us, oh dear Father, as they have prayed along with us, oh dear Father. Mere Kedele Seke Boro. Father, let them return wherever they are located also with hearing, deliverance, miracles and wonders, oh dear Father. Transform their life, oh dear Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, for your glory, oh mighty God, for your glory, oh Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, oh mighty God, for being with us from the beginning. Even now, Father, my God, we thank you, oh Father, that you're going to continue to be with us. Oh Father, we thank you. We magnify your name. We don't take a cat about the rock or so curibatebuki. Is a cabo rica da des, a kika raboto so curibati. Is a cabo to rukusuba rekete. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we give glory and honor back to you, Jesus. We give glory and honor back to you, Holy Spirit. We give glory and honor back to you, mighty God. For it's in Jesus' name. For it's in Jesus' name. For it's in Jesus' holy, mighty name we pray and believe. Amen, amen, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on others in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As he forgive those who sin against us, lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy the kingdom, the power, the glory are all yours, now and forevermore. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on others in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As he forgive those who sin against us, lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy the kingdom. The power, the glory are all yours, now and forevermore. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on others in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins. And see, forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy the kingdom, the power, the glory are all yours, now and forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now, now and forevermore. Amen, 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 amen. Pastor Peter, please. Well, thank you so much uh, for that uh, wonderful uh, session of prayer. Um, and now we are going to the next session of the admin updates. Welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Sarah, and you're joining us for the first time. Welcome. Um, and if you're joining us again, thank, thank you for joining us today. We thank you for joining us on this day, Palm Sunday, and we give God the glory even as we go into the Holy Week. May God be with us and guide us throughout this uh, next couple, several days, and then as we go into Easter next Sunday. Uh, thank you again for joining us. Continue to use the same link to join us. And as Prophet Pauline has mentioned that we are going to have um, a mission journey coming up. So we'll start our planning for that. And I know God will guide us through it. Uh, but today, let me acknowledge uh, the people who have given through tithes and offerings. So we have several ways to give in tithes and offerings. So you can uh, give through Zelle, uh, M-Pesa, Cash App, 
GoFundMe and will reset the GoFundMe and also PayPal. So give uh, through those ways as we continue to support this ministry uh, to the glory and to the honor of God. So for those who have given, thank you so much and may God bless you at least in the last three weeks. And that's uh, Salome in Kenya through M-Pesa, Miriam in Kenya through M-Pesa, Janeshiko in uh, Oregon through Zell, Sarah in uh, Maryland through Zell, and Anonymous Giver in the US through Zell. So thank you so much and let's continue to support this ministry and we thank God uh, for all that he's doing uh, through these men and women of God. Um, and I wish you a great week ahead. Again, as you go into the Holy Week, may God guide you and lead you through it and have a great rest of the day, evening, afternoon. Thank you. I'll turn it over to you, Pastor Degwa. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for that admin update. And um, uh, the next thing we are, we're going to do is to pray for the tithes and offerings and the many persons who are going to give and meet those who have already given. Uh, and then from there, uh, we shall call on Mateo to lead us in the ironic blessing, even as he tells us a little bit about the Tanza, um, what we call it, the the Bhutan in um, Bhutan people in uh, Georgia. Okay, so let's pray. Oh dear Heavenly Father, you're so grateful unto thee at this moment, dear Lord. Thank you for leading us, Heavenly Father, from all the sessions, dear Lord. We are, we are more than grateful unto thee, dear Lord. Thank you for the feeling that you've given us. You've reminded us so many things, Lord. You're straight trying to shape us to become better Christians, the kind of vessels that you want to Heavenly Father to put in proper use, dear Lord. Heavenly Father, may you continue strengthening us, Heavenly Father. May you continue guiding us in every way, Lord. Just we need your guidance, Heavenly Father. Take preeminence, take the Lordship. Take him in the rulership, Heavenly Father of all eyes, dear Lord. We give ourselves unto thee, dear Lord. We surrender. We surrender our hearts, our souls, our spirits. We surrender our bodies. We surrender the whole of ourselves unto thee, dear Lord. Dear Lord, may you may you accept us the way we are, dear Lord. And may you use us. May you change us. May you transform us. Make us new creatures, brand new units, born again of the Spirit of God, dear Lord. We praise you, Lord. We magnify and honor you, Lord. For it's in Jesus' name. We pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Mateos, please. I don't know whether Mateo. Mateo, are you there? Yes. Yes, I am. We are waiting for you, Mateo. Are you ready to give the blessing? Uh, Mateo? Yes. Are you ready to give the blessing because of the time? We don't have time? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Good. Hold on. Your camera is 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 laying sideways. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. Is okay. Perfect. Everybody can testify and say the truth. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> so good. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are around the globe. First of all, I want to say to everybody that joined us, we will really thank you. We really appreciate it. We do not take it for granted. And I want to say thank you so much for this opportunity. I really appreciate it. I do not take it for granted. I want to take this time to bless you as you go into your jobs and whatever the Lord has called you to do for today with the Aaronic blessing from number 624 to 26 in Hebrew, Italian, Spanish, English. God is so good in Korean and English. With the quotation of Numbers 624 to 26. And I will finally conclude it with the shofar because I had been in Atlanta, Georgia last week. Uh, so this is the start of a new week. So I shall I encourage you, as I do the Aaronic blessing, I encourage you to all of you, if you can, but if not, I understand. Raise your hands. As I do the Aaronic blessing. Yavarecha Adonai, the Yishmarecha, 
יאר אדוני פרוניו אליך נאונך יסר אדוני פניו אליך וישם לך שלום וישם לך שם. Dio te protega y benedica, que es plenario si el bote suerte a la gracia su arte, volga y si o su guapo. Pache ti día, pache ti día, Dios te guarde y bendiga. Que extienda su amor y muestre favor. Dios te mire con agrado y te dé paz. Y te dé paz. Y te dé paz. Lord bless you and keep you. Lord make his face shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And give you peace. Jo sin hananim. Jo sin hananim. Chandro Sing Naya God is so good God is so good God is so good He's so good to me Repeat after me. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless me. And keep me. And keep me. May the Lord smile on you. May the Lord smile on me. And be gracious to you. And be gracious to me. May the Lord show you his favor. May the Lord show me his favor and give you peace. And give you peace. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God in Spanish, Italian, Brazilian, Portuguese. Yeshua Nazareth, bin David, Jesus of Nazareth, son of David, Elohim, Yeshua. Now I shall conclude with the shofar to declare victory every day. Shalom, Yesu Nivana, the peace of Elohim, peace of Israel, and in the, be with you in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. 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 See you tomorrow, everyone. Idea tomorrow. Shalom, shalom, everyone. See you tomorrow. Shalom, shalom. See you tomorrow. Shalom, shalom. See you tomorrow. May peace of God be with you all in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Peace of God be with you all. Amen.